Hello and welcome back to Bible Bites. My name is Reverend Mark and it is great that we can have this time together. And this week we have something again very different and very special. So I have got a piece of rope and we're going to do something unbelievable with a rope. So before we come to that let's just say a prayer as we begin this time together and let's do a big amen to go with this as well. So let's just keep nice and still. You might want to put your hands together um, but let's just be still as we say this prayer. Dear God we thank you uh, we can have Bible Bites this time either at home or at school and we pray as we watch and learn together we'll have fun and learn a little more of a little bite from the Bible today and how we can also trust you and trust other people. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen! So yes, it is great. Here we go, Bible Bites. We are back. Now this week it is going to be about trust. So you're going to have to trust me shortly to see whether I can do something unbelievable. So that is coming up very shortly. And we have a story in the Bible where Jesus walks on the water and then Peter gets out of the boat. And we'll see what happens shortly. But first, this rope. Here we go. I have this rope here. Now, I am going to say to you, here's a piece of rope. I am going to see if I can do something unbelievable with this. Now you're gonna have to trust me that I can do this. Now I have practiced this, I've practiced this a lot and I believe that I can do this. And what I think I can do is I can hold this rope very shortly out. So rather than it being floppy like this and just dangling down, I'm gonna make it go across. Now, let's see if I can do it. I practiced. I believe I can do it. I, tr I hope that you can trust me that I can do this. So I'm going to have to concentrate a lot here. I'm going to focus on the rope and watch what happens. Here we go. So we have the rope. And there we go. How about that? Hey! So, you put your trust in me that I could do this wonderful thing with this rope, this floppy rope, and make it do that. Now, let's learn a little more about trust in the Bible. And this is a remarkable story in the Bible that involves Jesus near the water. So, here we go. So this is where Jesus walks on the water. 
Jesus was with his friends, the disciples, and he sends them in the boat ahead of him. So they get in the boat and they go off into the water. And the boat goes along the top of the water and off it goes. And then later, Jesus then walks on the water. Now that is amazing in itself. And that is, that's amazing, a bit amazing to see. And then something else happens. So Jesus is walking on the water. And then Peter says, is it really you? And Jesus says, yes, it is. Why don't you come and see me? And so off he is. He gets out. Peter gets out of the boat. He steps over the side and then he walks on the water himself. And as he walks along, he gets closer to Jesus. But when he saw the wind coming, he was afraid. And then he began to sink down in the water. He cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus, he reached out his arm and caught him. And then he said, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Why didn't you trust me? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind then died down. And those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. So there we are. We have Jesus walking on the water. And then Peter, he then steps out of the boat and he starts walking to Jesus. And just a bit like this rope here, it was a bit of a, an amazing uh, uh, effect. Remarkable. You trusted me that I could do that and make it go horizontal, which is that way alive. And, G and Paul, uh, sorry, Peter even, sorry. Peter started walking. But then after a little while, he got a bit worried and he lost focus. And then he started to sink, but Jesus helped him up. So we too, we can trust Jesus. And also we need to think about who we trust in our life as well, who we listen to, whether that's on the television or that's family and friends. That's something to think about today. So we're going to come to our question for reflection this week. So here we go. This is the question for reflection. Who do you put your trust in and why? Who do you put your trust in and why? And so, welcome back. We've had that time to reflect on that question about trust. And that's an important question. Who do we trust and why? And just a little bit. I looked in the dictionary today and I've got a big dictionary here. And I, I looked at the word trust and it says a firm belief in the truth. A firm belief. A belief in what is right. So I do have a think today and maybe in the days ahead about who you trust. So let's just uh, draw our time together but Bible Bites with a little prayer to finish this week. Let's just be still as we pray. Dear God we thank you that we can put our trust in different people and also in you. We thank you for your love for us and we thank you for the wonderful story we've had from the Bible today. The Bible bite about Jesus walking on the water and then Peter stepping out of the boat and putting his trust in you. Even though he wavered a little bit, we thank you for that example of putting our trust in you. So as we go about our days, guide us in who we trust. In the name of Jesus we pray. So I hope you again enjoyed this week's Bible Bites. Uh, next week it's Reverend Dave, so we look forward to seeing what he's going to bring along uh, for Bible Bites. But my name's Reverend Mark, and I've had fun this week. I hope you've enjoyed 
uh, watching and learning as well. And we will see you next week and the coming weeks ahead. So bye-bye for me and Bible Bites. Bye-bye! <laughs>